Now, the Constitution prohibits the government from censoring much of the speech that we've come to uh, know and love, but Facebook is imposing its own Silicon Valley brand of political correctness on its own social media platform. And Facebook banned provocateurs like Alex Jones, Milo, and even Louis Farrakhan. And now, the social media giant is going a step further by censoring conservative commentator Michelle Malkin, forget this, opposing Facebook censorship. Michelle joins me now. Her first uh, television comments about all this. Michelle, in the post that was taken down, you said, I don't know how long it will be until I'm next. <laughs> so I loved it. You kind of taunted them and you demonstrated yeah. what was going on. But are you now on the verge, do you think, of being just banned on Facebook? Yeah, I think a lot of us are. And I think there's a commonality among many of the people who are being targeted on Facebook and on Twitter, on social media. I even have to worry about my own website at michellemalkin.com, which is hosted by WordPress, which is now going after people based on their ideological viewpoints. I do believe, Laura, that this is an existential battle. And I'm not saying that just because it's self-serving, because I've made a living over the last uh, 20, 25 years, uh, a lot of it uh, online, and never had to worry about this kind of deplatforming. I'm saying this because we need a vibrant marketplace of ideas. We need an informed citizenry for a constitutional republic to function. And when Facebook and Silicon Valley overlords have their thumbs on the scale of free speech, that is a concern for all of us. Uh, look, there's a lot of people who've been deplatformed that uh, folks out there might be uncomfortable with. But all I did that caused Facebook to censor me, Laura, was simply stand up for a couple of my friends. Laura Loomer and Gavin McInnes. And now even I, using my Facebook platform that has 2.1 million followers, cannot even mention their names without being accused just, of violating it's the quote-unquote community standards of right. Facebook. There's right. a lot more going on here, Laura, and I believe that it has to do with the 2020. 2020 election and making sure that somehow those of us who support the agenda of President Trump are being throttled and managed uh, and marginalized. And I'm sending up an alarm. I did it at yeah. CPAC, and I'll continue to use my platforms to do it until they kick me off. Yeah, Michelle, I love the defiance. And uh, Nick Clegg of Facebook was on TV this weekend, and he basically issued a, well, this warning. The way that the rules of the Internet are drawn today, in my view, or rather not drawn, will be quite different to the way they're drawn in 10 years' time. And I think big tech companies have a choice. Either they play ball and they try and play a responsible role in that uh, debate, or, or they try and duck it altogether. Well, look, the Europe has gotten all over Facebook, been a lot tougher, frankly, than the United States in dealing with privacy issues. But he said this, we basically have no choice, Michelle. Yeah. So what do people do? You know, uh, a lot of people ask me after my CPAC speech and over the past year now that we've seen people disappear and be unpersoned. And the one thing that people can do is fight back with their pocketbooks and fight back with the voices that they do have All and right. support the people who have disappeared. Uh, there's a website called fightthecensors.com that's uh, helping people like Laura Loomer and Gavin McInnes, whose names I can't say on Facebook. I'd, I'd like All to right. see if I can test the Facebook live stream function now, which is also being throttled. Apparently, if you violate their community well, standards, they'll take that right. away as well. Yeah. Um, but Michelle, I think I'm that not going after the yeah. underlying yeah. groups like the All SPLC right. Michelle, and CARE that are going yeah. after them is how we have to fight back. Mich Michelle, Michelle Malkin, we're going to continue to talk about this with you at a later date. Thank you so much. Stay there.